do want to go ahead and um, officially get started. Um, obviously, we'll have hopefully other other new council members will uh, will meet well will join us. So, uh, Madam Chair, would you would you would you like to go ahead and officially? Okay. Um, I would like to go ahead and call this. I move to call this meeting to order. I'm trying, Councillor Frank. I'm trying. Um, <laughs> You don't have to make a motion. You can just um, call okay. the meeting to order and then ask for the roll to be taken. Okay. Um, calling this really meeting to job. order. <laughs> um, and I call for the roll to be taken. Um, should I go ahead and do that or? No. I would say who's no. ever taking your minutes, Juan. Yeah, so that, that should be. That should be Miss Tasha. Miss Tasha, I, I I don't I don't see her, but but Madam Chair, I will be more than happy to go ahead and take that role. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Juan, if it helps you, I just emailed you the um, the roster from the uh, county's website. Got you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Roll is official. You, you would want to call out each name and ask and for them to either say for them to say that they're present. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Let me, let me bring that up. Tarek? Present. Preston. Present. Tyler. Present. Adele. Present. Cole. Was that oh, okay? Okay. Uh, more keys. Okay. Courtney. Hey, for Hing. For Hing. I'm here. I'm sorry. No, 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 you're, you're, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, Adriana. Present. Uh, 
Brace. Alexia. Yeah. All right, roll call has been completed. I think you may have skipped Nathan. Uh, and yeah, I, and that, that that was that was done intentionally, uh, and that he actually should not be uh, a part of this uh, current list. Uh, they were there were um, there were actually two individuals that were that had been a part of the roster who had not officially been to. Uh, either of the meetings and I apologize that you don't have the most uh, up to date list. I'll get that to you with the most recent um, youth council members. Okay, excuse me for jumping in like that. No, 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 no problem. No problem. No problem at all. No problem at all. Um, okay. <clears throat> All right, uh, Ma 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 Madam Chair, be be before you uh, get 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 started with your uh, official, could, could, could I say could I say a couple a couple things? Go ahead. Okay, uh, I want to uh, first and foremost, you know, thank thank everybody, all of the youth council members for uh, being present today, but also uh, responding to. Uh, emails that I that I sent out. Uh, I know it could, um, you know, seems like a bother. You're like constantly getting emails, but I just want to ensure that uh, everybody is receiving the emails that we're being compliant with uh, the things that we are needing to do. Um, you know, so definitely want to you know thank each and every one of you for that, uh, and you know continue to thank you for all the the good work that that, that you're doing. I know things are. Uh, seem a bit frustrating as we're, you know, trying to, uh, you know, figure some of these things out, um, you know, as far as how, you know, county meetings should be conducted and, and so forth. Uh, but we'll, 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 we'll get there. We're, we're making progress uh, steadily. I'm making progress and, um, you know, before you know it, we'll be operating like a well or oil machine. So definitely thanks. Thanks to each and every one of them. Um, so it looks like we have eight members. So from what my understanding is, we can vote. Am I correct? All right. Okay. So then we're going to go. Yeah, that's correct, Madam Chair. Okay. Um, so then I am going to motion for the approval of the November 10th of 2021 and the December 8th of 2021 meeting minutes. Um, then I get a I think I did that right. Uh, can I get a second? Second. Thank you, Preston. Um, all right. And then is it my? You just ask all in favor to vote aye. All in favor to vote aye. Aye. Um, aye. 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 Um, aye. I'm moved to approve the minutes, I think. Okay. You can just declare that the minutes are approved. Okay, the minutes are approved um, for both meetings. So from what I understand, we can go ahead and vote on vice chair, um, but I am not seeing Marquise here. So I, I could be wrong, am I wrong? No, you're, you're, you're correct. He was not a roll call unless he has appeared after such. Okay. So then, Councilor Frank or DeWan or whoever wants to jump in. Um, I know in previous meetings we postponed it because a member hasn't been here. Do I continue to postpone it or should we take the vote without him? Madam Chair, I can respond to that. You have quorum so you can. You have enough um, members present to vote on a motion. So, if someone uh, wants to uh, make a motion uh, to elect someone vice chair, and then that motion receives a second, and then um, majority of 
uh, affirmative votes of the members who are here, then that would satisfy um, the election of a vice chair. And then is it okay? I know Marquise is one of the people that we had motion to elect previously and we will this meeting as well. Since he's not here, can I still motion to elect him even though he's not here? You can. Okay. Okay. So then I motion to elect Marquise for vice chair. The second. Um, so all those in favor or no? Sorry, was there a second on the motion? Yeah, there was. Okay. And who second that for my notes? Preston? Oh, that was me, yeah. Okay. So then I'm gonna, anyone? Okay, so then I'm gonna motion to elect Marquise as vice chair. Madam Chair, you had the motion and you had a second, so you can just call for a vote on the motion. Okay. And then, um, just to refresh, so you can I think just call for a voice vote. And then if you aren't sure that the motion passed from the voice vote, you can um, ask for a roll call vote. Okay. Um, then I'm going to motion for a vote. We well, don't have to move for a vote. You can just call for the vote and just say, all in, all in favor of the motion to elect that individual vice chair, say aye. Okay. All those in favor to elect Marquise as vice chair, say aye. 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 Okay. Um, Marquise. Then again, if you believe a motion is passed on the vote vote, 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 you can just say motion carries. Motion carries. Okay. Wow, these Robert's rules of orders are really going to. Really gonna be hard. You're, for me. you're doing very well. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, so the next uh, item on our agenda is a six month report to the county council and the county executive. Um, so I believe you were all sent the report. Um, yes. So just to recap, was loading. Um, so some of the topics that are included in the report with the mental health of adolescents, environmental protection, illicit substance usage among youth, race relations and youth civic engagement. Yes. Okay. Um, and it looks like all of those things have had their contributions to the report. Um, as I've, from what I understand, this report will be the initial report that goes to the county council and the county executive. And then as we do more work, as we make more plans to carry out certain things for each given item, we'll submit additional reports to the county council and executive. Um, is that correct, Jovan? That, that, that is correct. Okay. Um, Dewan, do you want to say a few words on the report? Well, um, I mean, definitely. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, that that was that was great. Um, you know, input uh, from 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 everybody. Uh, like like I previously you know advised, like we uh, previously discussed. So this this initial report, uh, you know, per the ordinance, was simply. Um, Discussing what the uh, youth council uh, had been doing, you know, for the past, uh, right? Uh, we had discussed that we would, you know, just kind of discuss, you know, some of the things that were going on, but also that you're going to include, um, you know, issues that you all felt were most important uh, as it relates to, you know, affecting. Uh, you know, St. Louis County youth, right? And so from that, you know, each each, each group submitted their piece, uh, you know, according to myself, uh, put together, you know, one cohesive, um, you know, unit 
that was sent out for everybody to kind of, uh, you know, review, you know, give your opinions on, and hopefully be able to uh, vote on it today. Uh, you know, if, if everybody in agreement. Uh, one of the things I did mention was that, um, you know, not not to, you know, worry too much about, you know, if if certain things were were not included. Um, you know, things were missing, et cetera, and so forth, because this was just kind of a preliminary uh, document. Um, but then every each each group kind of outlined the steps that they wanted to take uh, moving forward, uh, you know, to try to, you know, make some of those things happen, right? And then once, uh, you know, and Madam Chair, you know, it's up to you how you're going to, you know, you know, choose to divide people in, into their groups and and everything like that uh, to further uh, achieve what it is that you said you're gonna, gonna do. So once those steps, for example, I believe some, <clears throat> there was a mention of different surveys, uh, you know, phone calls, interviews, et cetera. A lot of those things are gonna be done. And so once you, you know, if you choose, uh, put people in different groups to achieve some of those things, uh, you know, you can go about, you know, constructing that how you see fit, but then once that work is done, then once you come back, then that could be another report uh, written as to, hey, you know, as a result of X, Y, and Z, you know, these are, you know, our updated recommendations, et cetera. But again, this is totally your design. This is your, um, you know, council. I want you guys to feel, you know, ownership uh, in it. So uh, that was that. So I mean, if you want to, you know, kind of discuss or get some feedback, you know, from your members in terms of, uh, in terms of the report, then now can be that opportunity. Okay. Um, just to start off, I I read through the whole report and it sounded it was great. Everybody did a really great job. Um, so does anybody have? Feedback, comments, questions, concerns, it would be a great time to bring up. Yeah, actually, I was hoping to get some clarification on some stuff. Um, so whenever I I did the use of engagement topic and whenever I wrote it, you know, I included stuff we had talked about at the last meeting and, you know, just, you know, it's youth, uh, youth advice to the council. And I read the drafted report and it's, it's pretty different and like I, I understand it needed to be condensed, but there was a lot of stuff that was added. And so I'm not sure who added it and I, I just need some clarification on that. because I, I do want to make sure that the council is getting what we talked about as the youth advisory council. Yeah, um, the one, do you want to? Yeah, like so so when, when you said added, are you saying added to what you wrote? Like your, your yeah, section? So I had um, I had almost uh, it had like two almost three pages of stuff talking about improving constitutional literacy, posting voter registration, finding ways to encourage younger people, and all of that was essentially shrank to one sentence, saying um, uh, the Youth Advisory Council proposes to improve constitutional literacy, host voter, voter registration and instructional classes at public high schools, and find ways to encourage and motivate young people. And I understand it needs to be short and sweet, and that's fine. But then there was stuff added talking about researching, um, uh, you know, asking high schools to find from them what volunteering and service options are available to them, uh, mapping existing youth civic engagement and like all of it sounds great but i'm just kind of confused as to where that came from hey yeah so absolutely so uh, and like i kind of stated in the in, in the email that i uh, put out like all of the original uh, wording and things that were created like none of that has been uh, has been eliminated right like that still exists so what happened was some individuals who were not a part of the, let's say the last uh, youth council member and were not put in groups, right? Later on, what we did, uh, we added individuals to, to certain groups as well. And so they were also allowed to put in, you know, th their piece or their recommendation or their input on a particular topic. So 
Yes. Nothing, nothing was added like from myself from Courtney in terms of, you know, us coming up with things. It was still a collection of, you know, the different input from the different council members and put together as that. So seeing, uh, you know, to your point that were not included in this initial report, uh, again, I mean, we, we, we still have those reports. We can still add out those things, but this report, at least this initial piece was simply just to speak about, uh, you know, those topics, you know, and, you know, the steps, you know, moving forward. But no, none of that stuff was, was been dismissed. Definitely don't want you to uh, feel like that. We can get all those things, uh, you know, added back in our, you know, additional reports. And, you know, the ordinance states that as many reports as you would like can, can be submitted. So this is not, you know, this is no way saying that this is the last report or this is all that's going to be, you know, so no, that was, that was great work. And like I indicated, everybody contributed and it was, it was some great stuff there. So no, we can, we can definitely, uh, you know, put those, put, put those things in there. But again, just for this initial piece, we, we took the, you know, uh, input from from all the different members that, and, and put it together that way. Okay. Um, would there be a way that we could kind of share all of the original documents that were put into this just among the groups so we can kind of, you know, see what ideas were put out there and just kind of have a, a collection of, you know, what we have? Okay, so uh, I'm trying to see if I'm, if I'm hearing this correct. Are you saying that all of the original submissions in in draft form you would like to have those copies is that is that what you're is that what you're saying before the the report was drafted into one is that is that i'm just trying to make sure i'm, I'm getting yeah like everybody would just receive like all of the original reports just so we have an idea of you know what everybody's thinking and just that collection of ideas that we can look at and pull from and stuff gotcha yeah gotcha. no problem Thank you very much for clarifying this. Yeah. And like the ones that um, in the following reports when they're that are going to be more detailed, like that will absolutely all be included. Um, I know the one kind of covered it, but just to just to reiterate, um, does anybody else have any questions, comments, and concerns from the report? I kind of had like a similar. I kind of wanted some similar clarification. So in the submission I sent was about a page long. And so basically, I think I, I think I wrote a lot um, about the topic because it's something I was passionate about. And I noticed that a big part of the submission had been reduced. And I saw like the most of it, all of it was things that I'd written, but I felt like it took the beginning and the middle of my submission and the middle was um, gone and I, I think I understand it was for condensing reasons and for to make it more um, uniform and um, more simplified. But I just wanted some clarification as if there was any other reason as to why um, my submission was shortened by um, such a large amount. Okay, so no, I, and, and again, it, it was it was strictly for the uh, cohesive piece and so that we all, uh, uh, so that this report would be would be uniform and uh, covered, you know, the initial things that we talked about, just in terms of, hey, this is the issue, uh, and this is kind of the initial recommendation. Uh, it had absolutely nothing to do with, uh, you know, things that were included. And again, if if we want to you know, go back, you know, and include every single thing, but. The, I guess the, the, the overarching uh, ideal is that, you know, each person, let's say you have a, a group and it contains four, four members, right? So obviously, you know, we couldn't take each exact word from each of the four members and put that into the report, if, if, if I'm making sense, uh, because then those, then the report would kind of be all over the place if if I'm if that's making sense. And so I took again, you know, information, uh, you know, that that was in common and those important pieces and I, and I and I put them in there to try to make it, you know, appear to be a uniform report. Uh, 
But again, if if the council, uh, you know, says, hey, you know, we would like to be able to each of us write our own piece and have that submitted, then that that's absolutely something that uh, you know can be discussed, can be voted upon, and if that's the case, then we'll, we'll do it just like that. I just like to offer. I think I understand. Uh, I think I have some clarification now. I'm just wondering: is, was there anybody else that was in my group? Because I didn't remember um, being. Be, I didn't. Re maybe they weren't there at the last meeting, but I just don't. I wasn't exactly sure who was because in the submission, essentially everything that had that was left on the final draft that you sent us yesterday. Everything there was written, I think it was written, I'm quite sure it was written by me. So was there anybody else on the environment, environmental protection staff, if you will? Was there anybody else that, that had contributed to that submission? Because I seem to notice that everything in the submission had been written by, by me. Gotcha. Uh, and I... I don't have the group breakdown in front of me. Is is anybody here present? Uh, were you also a part of the what was it? The environmental the environmental group. Tyler, were you, were you by any chance? I I have a vague. I think Tyler was mental, mental health, I believe. Oh, okay. I was drugs. Was yeah. Drugs. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I um. I entered all of the submissions into a large draft report that I sent to Dewan, and um, there was only one submission in the category of um, that you're that you're speaking about now. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I, would just, I just want to offer my my two cents and summary from Dewan. Um, the this initial report, we're just informing the council of our topics and what our ideas behind the topics are moving forward every other report will be more detailed because we will be like actively doing different things related to the idea so everything that you're writing can absolutely be included i also think that it just might be more beneficial in a following report um obviously if, if someone disagrees we can definitely talk about that we can change things um but I think I think the general understanding that I'm getting is that this initial report is really just to let them know, like, hey, this is what we've talked about. I think this is what we're gonna do. Um, we we will do the work moving forward to have more detailed reports specific to the, the topics. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think I think I understand now um, from you and Duan now. I think I have. I think I was just I was just wondering about it. Um, but I think I think I understand how how the reports and the additional reports will work. So um, I think I think I understand it a lot better. And thank you. Absolutely, thank you. Now, now, um, what 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 I will say, uh, Madam Madam Chair, I, I apologize. If now, if 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 you if you want, or uh, you know, if if everybody you know, votes on this, obviously it's up to you. You can um, you know call a motion to vote or whatnot. What I can do, I could I could send out like exactly what was submitted from everybody, right? Without the without the edits, without the cohesiveness piece, um, and then I could send that out. Like you you could everybody could compare that with what what has been submitted, and but then you would have to call another meeting prior to the. Uh, prior to February 15th, because that's the due date uh, that it needs to be uh, submitted to uh, county executive and county council. Okay. Um, well, then let me let me offer offer this first. Um, is there any? Okay. The one, regardless of if we take a vote or not, can we just, anyways, just get the unedited versions? Can everybody just get the unedited version? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear you. Um, can we, regardless of if we take a vote or not, or call a meeting or not, can we just, regardless, yeah, get so the unedited version just for all absolutely. of us to review? Uh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Great. Um, is there anyone who, like, really would like to see that first before we submit the report? In which case, then we can call for a vote and um, for another meeting and calling another meeting. Does anybody, like, really want 
to review I would the like to see the unedited reports. Okay, before the, just to clarify, before we finalize this, it, it doesn't have to be before. I would just like a copy of them. Okay. okay. Um, I, my I guess my question when I'm asking is, does anybody have any strong feelings that they want to see the unedited pieces prior to finalizing this report? I guess, I guess the question is prior to voting because everybody like you must take a vote uh, like everyone has to vote on it. It has to be approved before it's sent to county executive uh, and the um, you know, county council. So if it's not, you know, voted on, then we can't we can't move forward. So, um, so yeah. So the question would be. Do we want to uh, have the unedited version? Uh, and then we would need to come back and have another meeting prior to the 15th in order to vote on, uh, you know, what version needs to be submitted. I, I don't have any objections. I'm just, I have a quick question. So how will the building of the reports work? I was just a little confused how that will work if we end up proceeding to it. Um, how will that, like, how does the voting process, is it you, everyone votes on, like we're presented with one of the reports and everyone votes whether to send it to the council or not, or is it we're voting which one to send to the council or like how, how does the, what kind of, what are we voting on basically? That's just my quick question. But otherwise, um, I don't have any um, recommend. I don't have any um, requests to see um, the unedited versions. Yeah. So someone <laughs> jump in if I'm wrong. But what I understand is we're voting on the report that was sent to all of the members prior to the meeting, um, and we're voting to finalize it, and then that final copy will go to the council. Um, does that make sense? Am I am I correct, one? Yes, like it has to be. It has to. And, and Councillor Frank, please please uh, jump jump in if you could. But uh, it will take a majority vote, correct, in order for a Senate report to be uh, approved and sent to the County Council. Is that is that correct? correct. Because um, because the you act as a body. And the ordinance calls for the body to submit a report to the to the council and the county executive. So you would, as a body, have to approve what you wanted to send. You have to determine what you want to send to the county executive and the county council. Okay. By majority so, vote of the body. And and okay. it would still it would still take. Uh, in this case, it would still take the eight members. It would still take eight in order to approve to move forward. That is correct. Any motion would take, um, a, a, well, any, yes, any motion would uh, require eight votes to pass. So 50% plus one of the 15 seats on the, on the council. Okay. Um, so we do have eight members here. So, um, does anybody have any other questions, comments, concerns about this final report before we move to take a vote about finalizing this one and sending it? And just to re like just to reiterate, the one will be sending everybody on the on the council all the unedited versions. It'll just come after we've approved this um, report. Um. So the draft that was sent to us. So that's going to be like that's the finalized report that's going to be sent out. Uh, for like the six months um, update. Correct. Okay. Does everybody else have that? So then I'm gonna go ahead and move to take a vote on the finalization of the six month report. Um, can I get a second? Get the motion. Okay. And then all those in favor say aye. Aye. Hi. Hi. Okay. And the motion carries. So, I have four votes. 
Oh, that was four. I only got four. Okay. Yeah, you can ask if anyone is opposed. In is anybody opposed? Should I do a roll call vote? Yeah, in, in the event that um, the chair is unable to determine um, if a motion carried or not, you can certainly um, call for a roll call vote. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm going to call for a roll call vote. Um, Adriana? Uh, I, I vote yes. Aye. Preston? I vote yes. Hard? I vote yes. Paul? Uh, I vote yes. Tyler? Yes. No. Adele? Oh, sorry, yes. Alexia? Yes. 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 And then yes. I'm okay. <laughs> Um, and, 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 and Madam, Madam Chair, if I could say what the, uh, excuse me, and just, and just to be uh, clear, just to reiterate again, like I, I will get everything out to all of you, the unedited drafts, et cetera. Uh, and like I mentioned previously, uh, if, if you, as a you council say, Hey, we would like to submit another report or once we submit our other report. We want all this original verbiage included. That's absolutely, that's absolutely fine. Again, this is this is you guys, uh, youth council. I want you to have ownership of it. Uh, you know, so that that will not absolutely that would absolutely happen. So, so then, um, I'm the motion carries. Um, from what I un the understand, Dewan and Courtney will. Get that to the county council or county executive, correct? So I, I so been, uh, like I've, I've have a uh, contact within the uh, county executive office, and uh, we're we're working through that process to uh, determine how that's going to work. Uh, so, but no, it, it definitely will be submitted uh, on time. So, yep. perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, I get the next. Thing on the agenda is next steps of the council as it relates to the six month report. So I just I kind of want to I want to take a few minutes and just talk about each individual topic. Those members who are um, spearheading, I guess, the topic. Um, if you want to talk about it, and then as a council, we can talk about different things we want to do moving forward, different ideas. So I'm just going to start from the top. So. So those who did the, the mental health of adolescents, I know I helped. And then who else was doing mental health? Yeah, I also helped with that one. And then Paul, were you also someone who was? Yeah, I was doing mental health. Okay. So um, in the report, we just kind of, just to give an overview, talked about the declining youth mental health. Um, in light of the pandemic, we talked about the Surgeon General's report um, that gave a lot of different um, feedback and ideas on specific areas uh, of youth. So, like, what can teachers do? What can um, parents do? What can like, different people do? What can governments do um, to help address this um, from uh, during school, when they're out of school, and online? Um, so something that we recommended in the report is issuing a survey of our local communities for input on youth mental health in the greater St. Louis area. Um, we also anticipated meeting with child care specialists, teachers, pediatricians, and mental health professionals to discuss their opinion on how the pandemic is affecting youth and how they can be helped. Um, so just off the top of my head, something that I know I can potentially contribute, given that everybody's okay with it, is um, I my thought was to talk to speak to some professors um, at my university, and who are or specifically language of the court, who are 
more well informed about the topic to give um, to share their thoughts on it um, and potentially give a statement. Um, thoughts among the council members. I think that's a good idea. Um, I was also thinking that maybe I could like, reach out to like different like local high schools or middle schools like with guidance counselors and say my first hand experience with youth like every day and seeing like what their perspective is like at that I guess at that like first level and seeing their input I think that would be helpful. Okay. Absolutely. I think that's a great idea. So um statements from some professors and professionals um surveying local youth in the area through high school, through school yeah okay sounds good um so my thoughts Preston you go to wash you right yes I do um I go to Mizzou and I know we're out we're outside of the greater St. Louis area but um I do, there are professionals here that can offer their support. I do think we should keep school related uh, students, maybe to the greater St. Louis area. We're talking about that specific youth. Um, my other thought was, and then plus, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is maybe even reaching out to some college students, young college students in the greater St. Louis area. Um, and Cole and other council members, please feel free to jump in um, and just asking about their experiences in St. Louis, um, negative impacts on their mental health, and things like that. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Um, like, since I'm going to high school, can I survey like my own high school about it, or would that be like conflict of interest or something? I think that would be fine. Am I anyone? Council Frank, Dewan. Is that a problem at all? <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought I thought um, Councilor Frank, but uh, <clears throat> I mean, my 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 initial talk. Uh, you were speaking about. Um, you know, survey, obviously most surveys are anonymous. Um, so there, there's no way to kind of tie, um, you know, names with, you know, individual, um, you know, acts and things like that. And so if you're, you know, simply attempting to, you know, garner some information as it relates to, um, you know, mental health and, and, and some of those experiences, et cetera, uh, as long as there is some type of approved, uh, you know, survey that's created, then I think it would be, uh, I think it would be uh, relevant. Um, so, one 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 thing, real real re really quick, and I, I apologize, Madam Chair. Uh, we we are um, looking at uh, fifty minutes uh, to go. Um, I know we had mentioned earlier of maybe just ensuring that everybody was placed in a particular group. Uh, some members, um, I, I believe at this point everybody has been, but just you know want to just ensure that everybody has been placed in groups. And so then, uh, if you wanted to, you know, just kind of to instruct, um, you know, everyone on you know what's needed to you know kind of take place. Uh, prior to um, the next meeting, uh, and you know, Count Councilor Frank, uh, correct correct me if I'm wrong. I believe we had this uh, discussion previously that uh, individual members are able to work in small groups. Uh, I believe it was you know two or three members. They can work outside of said meeting. Okay, you correct. Can meet you can meet outside of the public meeting in uh, small groups, smaller than a quorum, and kind of work groups, that kind of thing. Yes, as long as it's not a quorum of the member um, meeting. 
Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, Madam Chair, if you wanted to just ensure that, you know, you had everybody kind of divided in groups uh, that they were going to be in, and if you wanted to speak to, uh, you know, what should be um, worked on prior to the, the next uh, meeting. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, I'll just start by saying that, um, everybody in, in your individual groups, um, this is going to require you speaking with each other, deciding what you want to do specifically. Um, I guess I just ask that, um, we keep some kind of record of it from what I understand. Um, so, what I mean by that is just like be writing up your findings so that in the next meeting we can talk about it. Um, not that it has to be done by the next meeting. Um, just so we can talk about it. Um, so, for example, if myself, Cole, and Preston are doing, um, are, we're writing, we're figuring out how we want to go with mental health, we'll talk about it. We'll be emailing back and forth, we'll be discussing it. Um, I just ask that everybody. Be checking your email, be communicating. I don't want it to fold out where one person's doing all the work, um, as does no one else. So um, make sure we're all doing our part. Um, so yeah, so in your small groups, you need to be um, figuring out what is it that you want to do. So for mental health, we want to speak to some professors, we want to speak to some specialists, and we want to create a survey. So going about, I want to go about how we, how we figured that out. What we want to ask, what we want to do specifically, what, what we want to include on the survey. Uh, so that's what you would do in your individual group. So, from what I understand, myself, Preston, and Cole are on mental health. Tyler, I know you um, are doing illicit drug use. Um, is there anybody else who was doing that with you? No, there was not. Um, um, sorry, I got an email that said that I was on the, uh, illicit drug use portion of it. So, um, but I wasn't there at the last meeting. I couldn't make it, but, um, that's the email that I got. So, um, that's why I'm a little bit lost on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. So in the last meeting, just to gently like re review, we just talked about. Um, different topics that we wanted to um, include in our report. So that's some of the topics that we talked about earlier. Um, and then members, we divvied up into small groups um, in order to, in the case of the report, we wrote up what we wanted to talk about and why we wanted to include um, that topic. And now moving forward, what we'll do is we will create um, and figure out different things we want to do to help and what we want the council to do about um each of these individual things so for example i'm just using mental health because that's what i know off the top of my head we are gonna do the things that i was talking about like the survey and the professors um and essentially collect data and um information so that we can then present later to the council what we would like them to do or recommend that they do does that make sense Adele? Uh, i don't yeah, know it does. Um, so you're I do on have a question uh, when you're done. I, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. You're okay. Um, so one, you look like you wanted to add something. Do you want? Yeah, to no, I, I'm sorry. And, and what what I was going to say, uh, uh, Madam Chair, is that, um, you know, uh, Courtney and I will will also still be uh, points of contact. So we'll be included on all emails that are sent out to the individual groups, uh, and so I could. Uh, because I'm able to continue to talk uh, to you all outside of uh, of the meetings, right? And so I will uh, clarify, answer any questions uh, that anybody has, um, you know, related to your topics, related to uh, those steps. Now, as Madam Chair indicated, it is very important that uh, you all are checking uh, your emails uh, regularly, especially as we're, you know, doing this work within the groups uh, and not just, you know, kind of, well, I know it's getting close to uh, time for the next meeting. So let me kind of, you know, be on the lookout for this. No, uh, if, if you could, we ask that everybody please 
you know, check your emails regularly so that uh, you won't miss uh, any information that um, that we had, you know, sent out or if we're trying to get in contact to you. So uh, with you, I'm sorry. Sorry, Madam Chair. No, no, don't apologize. You're totally fine. Um, Tyler, you, you have a question? Yes, it, it's about yeah. the uh, data collection and surveys. Mm -hmm. So obviously I would be sending the um, you and Duan and uh, the group, the results and the data I collected, but would you guys like a copy of the survey before I send it out to my school? Yeah, so I believe that that, that would have out to be. Before. Yeah, so okay. don't want to correct me if I'm wrong. What we'll do will be prior to, just prior to next meeting is we'll all discuss in our small groups and create those things. And then in the following meeting, we, when we can touch base with, Obviously, Tyler, you're welcome to touch base with Duan and Courtney and um, Council Frank and everybody else um, to gain approval. Duan, I'm assuming that that survey would come to the council for approval as well as legal and everybody else, correct? Council Frank, please, please feel free yeah, to come. I, to uh, sure. I, I think that I, uh, I'd be happy to touch base with, um, with Duan. And um, we can even schedule a meeting with you so we could talk about uh, some of those issues. Um, and I, I'd be happy to do that. So if, if I drafted up a survey and I sent it to you guys, would that be okay before the next meeting? I think so, yes. But if, if um, it sounds like you I need to talk to Adele as well. Yeah, and I just, I, I think um, what I hear the chair saying is that she, she realizes there may be some um, considerations with collecting people's personal information and how you go about doing that. And she'd want to make sure that uh, Absolutely. Um, that, the, uh, that the council is proceeding in a, in a manner that is appropriate. That makes sense, yes. So I'm happy to, to, to meet and, and talk about that. Yeah, so then with the staff in the chair. Yeah, so um, Tyler, I would say that, you know, talk to Adele, discuss, figure out what you all want to do. Um, maybe if you want to go ahead and create the survey, if that's what you're wanting to do, feel free. And then, like, speak to Dewan and Dr. Uh, um, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. And we'll, we'll all, we'll review everything at the next meeting. Okay. Okay, um, I know we're getting really short on time and I'm talking too much. Um, so from one, okay, so the, oh no, it went away. Um, okay, so mental health is me, Cole, and Preston, uh, Adele and Tyler, you're doing illicit substance usage among youth. Um, Tarek, I know you're doing environmental protection. Is somebody doing that with you? Any other members that are doing that with him? I don't think there's anyone else um, in the department. Okay, so then, um, yeah, so then, yeah. or if you continue to do whatever you want um, as well. Uh, for race relations, myself and Marquise are doing that one, uh, and then, is that all correct? And then, and if I'm saying something wrong, someone please jump in and correct me. My, my brain is foggy. I've been in classes all day. Um, and then youth civic engagement, um, Adriana, I know you did that and it did somebody else also. Or is on that. And I, I will, uh, and Madam Chair, I, I'll, uh, I'll find that information. I know that some of the members that were not present uh, they were, they have since been placed, uh, you know, in, in certain groups. I, I don't, I apologize. I don't have that information in front of me, but I'll, I'll definitely get that information to you as far as, um, all the participants in, in, a, in a particular group. So I'll, I'll definitely get that to you. Okay. Sounds good. So Dwan will, will email, we'll, we'll figure that out. So again, just reiterate everybody, just be doing, um, the work you need to be doing within your groups, be checking email um we need to go ahead and schedule the next meeting um 
So uh, that would be February. So a month from now would be like the 23rd of February. Correct? Um, we can meet earlier than that. So does any, the, the one, you or anybody else, do we want to meet the 16th? We can do the 16th of February or we can do the 23rd. I, just off the top of my head, I would assume that one of those dates, given when we've been meeting recently. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, we could. We can we could go ahead and do the uh, twenty third, Madam Chair, if that works. Okay. So the so twenty third then. Anybody object to that? Um, I personally prefer the sixteenth, just because I know I'll be traveling on the twenty third. But you know, obviously, if the twenty third works better for everyone else than we're not supposed to do. But um, yeah, Dewan, does the sixteenth work for you? I'm I'm fine with that as well. Um, so then let's do the 16th. Does anybody object for the 16th? No? I'm fine with the 16th. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I just want to, I can't make say... it, but that's okay. I can just be in communication. That's fine. Um, um, does, okay. So. Dewan, do you wanna do you, do you wanna make the call the sixteenth or the twenty third? Is there a day where more people can make it? Like, it's just one person on each day, right? Sounds like. It. Is there anybody else that would have any problem making it one of those days? Okay. Um. Then let's say the sixteenth because. While I can make the 23rd work, it would be cutting it pretty close um, with some other stuff I have going that day. So then the 16th, okay, everybody? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then I just want to say this really quick before I know we're cutting it really close um, before the meeting ends. Um, Ms. Newton said in the chat that myself, Marquise, will work on critical race theory. Preston, myself, and Cole work on mental health. Tyler's going to do. Tyler and uh, Dell are going to do substance abuse, Ms. Newton, um, and Tark will do environmental protection, and Udran will work on youth civil engagement, and then anybody who's not in a group um, will figure it out. Correct? Okay. Um, that was the original um, list, so I will oh, okay. find everybody else now. Okay, so I know Adele's in um, that, that group, and then um, Alexia, if you want to touch base with one of us so we can put, get you in a group too because I didn't see your name. Um, and then, so we're gonna do 16th everybody, same time and every time. Uh, okay, so then if anybody, does anybody else have any questions, comments, concerns? Okay. Um, thank you all again. Um, Please be checking your emails. I appreciate everybody being here, um, uh, especially Councilor Frank, who's keeping me on track with the Robert's Hold of Order. Um, you are doing very well, Madam Chair. I appreciate it. Um, and thank you to Juan and Courtney and everybody else for all your work. Um, Mr. Peoples, we haven't met, but nice to meet you. Um, and nice to meet you from the behalf of the council. Um, nice to meet you too. Um, Okay, so then I'm gonna move to adjourn. Can I get a second? Again, the motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 I'll see you all guys. I'll see you all on the 16th. Bye guys. Thank you all for coming. Bye.